Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets. Today, joined by Brett of NMICs. Uh, getting close to NBCC. A week. Yes. From today, this might be. This is posted during the Maccabi Beer Week. I yeah. Think. So More we're probably in Copenhagen when this is posted. We'll see. Uh, but that's going to be great. And we're reviewing a beer from at least one of the breweries participating. I can't remember if Brewdog is coming, but this is a collab. They so aren't. Brewdog, okay. But this beer will be at NBCC. Well, that's good then. Uh, but guys, this is another beer that I got from Kiosk, the great web shop and physical store in Copenhagen, speaking of, um, that you guys should check out when you're in Copenhagen for NBCC. It's one of the better bottle shops in the city, and they yeah. have a huge selection of beers. So Very hop on down to Kiosk and their uh, bar as well, Rababab. Check them out. So this, guys, is the collab between Brewdog and Omnipoyo that I've been sitting on for a bit because loads of beer needed to be reviewed, especially hoppy stuff. Uh, but this can sit for a bit. So this is the Omnipoya and Brewdog I Want to Be Your Dog Whiskey Barrel Aged Imperial Stout uh, on 12% that is Pecan Mud Cake Stout with coffee, right? Yeah. So it's probably Noah. It's probably Noah, but it imagine. doesn't really say. No, but Pecan Mud Cake, yeah. it must be. But this will be fun because Noah is one of your favorite beers. And yep. we've rev I've reviewed, I think, every Noah variation that's been bottled. Yeah. Uh, I have not Jesus Mud. Uh, but I have had Jesus Mud. Yeah, I missed it when we were one of there. my. Uh, I had it quite fresh, so it was very very good. Yes. Uh, well, pours really nice pitch black color. Yeah. Looks very. It's nice actually nice. completely pitch black. Yes, and a nice roasty looking base. And I can smell the aromas of Noah already. So yeah, let's just check out the aroma. <laughs> that <laughs> is Noah. That is. It is Noah. It is definitely Noah. The whiskey is very light on yeah. the on the. Uh, it's not big on the aroma. Oh, there's like a little bit, but most I'm getting loads of pecany, vanilla, yeah. fudgy, cakey <laughs> chocolate. Vanilla, well chocolate fudge. Yeah, yeah, chocolate. But fudge. with a bit of like a hint of a coffee uh, yeah. roast. Well, I, I'm not getting a lot of coffee no, in whiskey. No, but it's, it's only good. like a hint. But I think yeah. But it's the the, the flavoring for mm. Noah that's really shining through. But it just it smells so nice yeah. and pastry and desserty. <laughs> This is yeah. you never get tired of no, this aroma. No, no, no. It's, you it, don't. It reminds me a bit of the bourbon Noah. Actually. Yeah, yeah. You sense that there's some kind of whiskey barrel yeah, note, but it's like but yeah, it's lurking. It's not really present. I want to try this already, man. Yeah, let's try it. Cheers and thanks a ton to Kiosk for the beer. <laughs> that oh. is Noah. Oh, there's definitely oh, yeah. coffee yeah. on the aftertaste. It's not that thick though, is it? I think it's more or less like it usually is. Oh. <laughs> it's really cakey though, mm. and fudgy, and there is that coffee, coffee, kicks in. and it really it kicks on like up on the aftertaste, like the bitterness, like it's got a lot of coffee bitterness that you don't get in yeah. regular Noah. But interesting, and it has a. Like it's almost like the coffee takes a bit away from the whiskey as well, but there, there is it like this kind of dry. It's yeah. like a scotch, kind of like a like a Highland scotch or something like that. Mm. It's not like smoky or anything. It's it's it, it kind of yeah you know actually it has a bit of a fruitiness yeah and a dryness and, yeah that dry barrel oh, yeah, oaky oaky. Uh, oaky. Well, the funny thing, a spicy whiskey flavor, but I can't remember. Or maybe it's Bayside or something like that. I'm not sure. I'm not that well into the whiskeys yet. I'm still learning. But mostly what I've been drinking is Isla because that's what I love and then bourbon. But the interesting thing about the mm. barrel character is that it actually it's is mostly present after you've swallowed the yeah. actual beer. It kind of kicks in afterwards. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's there now for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me it's too. It's not there when and it's the same with the coffee. It's it's kinda of like mm. you did like one of those Frappuccino whatever yeah. from Starbucks yeah. with like coffee <laughs> and fucking caramel and chocolate and fudge and vanilla. Yeah. It's pretty much like that. Yeah. But my biggest beef with it, I think it just seems a bit thin. Mm. But maybe it's also because it's been in the fridge. I don't think it's thin, but it is that medium plus. Higher side of medium. Type yeah. Of yeah. It's not super thick, but it's really nice. The flavor is very good. Mm. Hint of spirity warm. Yeah. From the 12%, nothing crazy. No. There's a bit, but it's really easy drinkable. Yeah. yeah. As you see. Yeah. 
for that, a big pastry stout. <laughs> and I would say the uh, one of the positive things is that the coffee really complements the that pecan-y. But in terms like the more I drink, the more I get out of the barrel. I must say I, mm. I much prefer the bourbon treat. Yeah. Yeah. To 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 this. Mm. And also I. I don't know, coffee is nice in there, but the really bitter coffee aftertaste that I'm getting right now, I think it doesn't suit Noah as well as some of the other variations. Like the hazelnut, yeah. I think it suited a bit better. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Yeah. A pecan Abs. nutty or generic nutty flavor. But I still think it's really, really nice. I'm, it is. I'm thinking like 96. Yeah. Yeah, let's go 96. That's a fair grade, I think. It's not as good. My, I think my favorite was the double barrel when it was... Yeah, you know, when it was not infected yes. yet. Before the infection or really presently came infected. Yeah. And then probably hazelnut stroke bourbon. I think for me One it's, it's double but barrel and season. bourbon. Oh, yeah, my my favorite over uh, over the mall uh, of the mall is uh, Jesus mud. Yeah. And then uh, double barrel and then bourbon and then hazelnut and then this I think. But it's very good still. Wow, this is in 95, 96. It is. It's, it's 95, 96. Yeah. yeah. Maybe 95, it's, actually. Because it's, I don't know, it's a bit thin, and I don't think the whiskey suits it as well as others, but fabulous beer still. Mm. Worth a shot for sure. I'm not sure if you can get this anywhere anymore. Usually when the barrel aged stuff from, from these guys are released, they sell yeah. pretty quickly. But if Kiosk still has I Want to Be Your Dog from yeah. Brewdog and Omnipoyo, Check it out. Let us know what you thought of this one, guys, if you had a chance to try it. What's your favorite variant of Noah? Yeah, that's Let us know. That would be pretty fun to, to hear. Yep. Uh, because it certainly is an awesome beer. And as always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And see you guys in another beer review.